Hello, Loveland Magazine viewers. Cassie the Food Guru here again. Now, I've never been to this spot before, but it smells a little chilly. And I'm not talking cold, I'm talking this is the chilly hut. I am here with owner Fadi Kalia. Is that correct? <laughs> Close, Kalalia. Kalalia, okay. I knew I was gonna butcher it just like I butcher my own last name. So, the chilly hut, brand new. That's January right. 24th, right, is when you first open your doors. We've been trying to get over here, but Fadi over here has been busy. So, started as a food truck, though, in 2013. So, kind of tell me about that, Fadi. What really made you want to open this brick and mortar rather than just, you know, trugging along with your food truck? Because it's doing really well. I mean, you're, you're doing excellent. You're doing big things. So, kind of tell us about your background. Sure. So, um, we, like you said, we started the truck in 2013. Uh -huh and we did events all over the city and the truck is still operating. Okay. Um, but we just need a little more room to, to work ourselves to operate. So we got a small little carry out brick and mortar. Uh, Loveland's a great town. We thought we'd start there and yeah. see where it goes from there. See, and what about you? We want to know about you. What's your background, man? Uh, How'd you get this? How'd you get all this? I mean, you you look pretty young. Yeah, my, uh, my family had a, we used to have a restaurant when I was growing up in okay. Madeira. And so, uh, I took that chili recipe that we had and just kind of mobilized it and wanted to spread it around the city. There you go. There you go. And, and it is Cincinnati style chili. Now, yeah. for those who are watching that maybe you're not the biggest Cincinnati fans. And if you're not, you better run because you know we're going to the Super Bowl. Side note, which chili, Super Bowl, awesome, right? So tell us what is Cincinnati style chili? Sure. So Cincinnati style chili is not like your typical thick Texas chili. Right. Um, it's a little thinner. Uh, now, Cincinnati generally is known for having a little cinnamon spice in it, so we do keep that. Uh, there is no chocolate in our chili. Okay. So compared to some of the other chains, it'll be a little thicker. It'll have a little more kick to it, uh, and it's not as sweet. Okay, okay. And I didn't even know chocolate was some, typically yeah, in some, chili. Yeah, some, some Cincy chili recipes, they do add chocolate. Dang, yeah. okay. And, and this particular chili recipe is a family recipe? Yes, it is. Yeah. And it's been around for how long? How long has it been in the fam? Uh, probably over 40 years now. Holy! Yeah, so. Man, that's yeah. crazy. Is that older than you? Yeah, yeah it is. Well, uh, ex uh, yeah, slightly. A few okay, years. I was so. thinking, I'm like, he's probably in his 30s, <laughs> maybe. We'll see. So. The store here, it's open Monday through Saturday. Is that correct? Uh, it's actually Tuesday through Saturday. Tuesday through we're, Saturday. We're still getting our hours and days set. Okay. Um, between the truck and the store, we just make sure we need to have enough labor and everything. Okay, and then the hours themselves, is it typically 11 to 7? Yeah, or? the hours are going to be uh, 11 to 7. They may be extended in the spring and summer. Okay, excellent, excellent. And obviously, uh, summertime, I mean, it'll be popping over here. There's people always walking. You know, we have the food truck rally every year. Sure. Yeah. Which uh, brings me to my next point. This guy is going to be a part of Hearts of Fire weekend, mm -hmm. uh, Loveland's first uh, Valentine's Day festival. It's true. So, and it's kind of funny because when I knew that I was going to interview you, that's when I brought it up at the meeting, like, wait, I'm going to interview him. He should bring his food truck. Like, what the heck? That would get you some good hype, right? So tell me what your plans are for Hearts of Fire Weekend. What do you plan on serving? Is it just like the full menu? Yeah, or? it'll be our full truck menu. So okay. cheese conies, two ways through five ways. We make our own coleslaw from scratch. So we do slaw Ooh. dogs as well. Awesome. Um, walking tacos. Um, uh, we also do a, uh, we make a coney with a hot met, right. a Queen City hot met, and it's called the right. Eden Pork. Oh, So it's a little bit bigger than your traditional coney, it's a little spicier. Right, uh, right. And the hot dog wise, it, do you, how, how does that work? Do you outsource for the hot dogs? Or? Uh, yeah, we, well, yeah, we get all beef hot dogs. Okay. Uh, we, we don't make those here. But yeah. yeah, hey, I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know what you were doing. Uh, cheese wise, what about so the cheese? We shred the cheese ourselves. We there you go. Large 40 pound blocks, slice and shred. Which is a lot of fun, I'm sure. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Now, Fadi, tell me a little bit more about the food truck because when I was doing research, and like I said, since 2013 you've been around, mm -hmm. you are very involved in the community. I mean, sports, mm -hmm. you know, uh, the University of Cincinnati. I yep. mean, that's kind of where you got that start. People started talking about it. You're all over social media. Your mm -hmm. Instagram's very, very nice, oh, by the you. way. I like that. It. I like the people that market themselves. So. <laughs> Tell me about your experience with the food truck business and kind of tell me why you decided to really be very active in the community. Uh, well, you know, kind of like our slogan, it's always chilly in Cincinnati. We want to be everywhere as we can just to right. 
bring it to all parts of Cincinnati. So we've done events with uh, UC football this year. Um, we do and everything as small as graduation parties to corporate lunches to food truck rallies, concerts, etc. So, everything, yeah. everything. Mm -hmm. And as as you can see right here, is this kind of representing Cincinnati yeah, a little bit? We, we got like some a, pigs. And... Yeah, we got a cityscape of the of Cincinnati. You got Fiona. Is that a little Bengal up there? Bengal okay, tiger. Okay. Harambe. We got yes. A little, a little reference to all the well-known Cincinnati landmarks. And that is excellent. I love that. And you even have a little carousel over there. Mm -hmm. So guys, listen, if you start in the food truck business, that doesn't mean that you can't eventually have your own brick and mortar. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure this might've been the dream. Like, hey, I wanna have my own restaurant. You know, you grew up in the restaurant world. Is that is that kind of the direction you wanted to go in in your life? Or is this just 360? <laughs> well, is, uh, yeah, well, I was pretty good with the truck, but just we needed more space. And this has worked out perfect. Great neighborhood again, like I said. Yeah. So I thought we'd move in, spread, spread our wings a little bit and go from there. Now, tell me, Fadi, did, did you go and get a degree, uh, food background, or you have some uh, completely no, different background? Uh, a completely different background. Tell so, me about it. What did uh, you do? It's a business background. I went to Ohio State. Okay, so, okay. Uh, graduated minor business. Uh, I was in education for a little bit. Okay. Uh, and then decided to do the truck. All like right, all right, but business hand in hand, right? Sure, You're yeah, still in the yeah. business world. So, Fadi, what I want to do next is I really want to dive deep into that menu, okay? So, we kind of talked about the classics, right? So, I want to start. We have the cheese coney, mm -hmm. okay? It has that signature chili, hand shredded, but then you also have a slaw dog. Mm -hmm. And yeah. we just discussed that that's homemade. So, I want to know that slaw. Tell me how you make that stuff. And you don't have to give away too much, but you know, some slaws are different than others, right? Sure, some are spicy, sure. some are sweet. So what is your slaw? Uh, ours is a mayonnaise based slaw. It's got a little more of a kick to it. It's not as sweet. Um, we make it, you know, fresh probably almost daily. So it might not always be the same as right. far as, you know, uh, texture, et cetera, but uh, it's very good. I don't want to give it a secret recipe. No, no, we don't much. want that either. We don't want, do you want to stop for a second? Sure. Yeah. Go. So the menu, right? Mm -hmm. We're still diving into it. So one of the things that I just saw a gentleman just order mm -hmm. the Eden pork. So that seems like that's probably going to be popular. Yeah, um, Mets are delicious. So tell me a little bit about that Eden pork. Yeah, that's a really popular dish. We we uh, source um, Queen City Mets. Let's okay. Keep it local. Yes. Uh, and pour our homemade chili on it, and then you can have your choice of adding mustard, onion, our homemade slaw, jalapeno, Oof. shredded cheese. And that's all included uh, in the price. So. Oh, wow. Yeah, because the prices, I'm looking pretty dang on good, honestly. Um, then you have the walking taco, of course. Yeah, walking tacos are very popular. Uh, you can choose your choice of chips. You do Fritos or Doritos. Oh, yeah. And then lettuce, tomato, onion, cheese, sour cream, jalapeno. And you can choose uh, whatever toppings you'd like on it. Uh, and we also have a vegetarian version of that okay. where instead of chili, you can add beans and our homemade coleslaw to it. Okay. So and what, what's your preference? Do you like the Doritos or the corn chips? A little I, bit better? I'm, I'm, I'm original. I like the Fritos. Oh, there you go. There me. you go. There you go. I do too. I do too. It brings me back to like the T-ball days yeah. or whatever. Yes. And, and we don't serve those in bags either. They okay. come in a, in like a boat, something like this. Oh, beautiful. So it's okay. easier to eat. It's okay. not It's not all messy. You know, yeah. 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 Well, it's messy, but not yeah. you know, all of you. Um, and then of course you have all the ways. I'm going to call them all the ways, right? We have a two way, three way, four way, five way. Tell me about what the differences are. So, uh, the ways are it's chili served on top of spaghetti and then each number indicates another topping. So okay. two oh, ways, excellent. straight chili spaghetti, right. three ways with cheese, four ways with your choice of onion or bean and a five ways all of the above. Okay. And then I saw it too, has a little jalapeno action. You can add them for free yeah, to any can, entree. Yeah, that's true. And you can add jalapenos to anything you order. I love the spiciness. Let's yeah. get it. I love that. And then of course we have the house salads, Yeah. right? Yeah. And then we have a turkey and cheese panini, a ham and cheese panini, and a Gouda grilled cheese. Let's yeah. go. Yeah, yeah. Tell me why you added the paninis and the grilled cheeses. Uh, just to expand the menu a little bit and to offer something, you know, if somebody doesn't feel like chili or we can do like, we have combos. You can do a half cup of chili, half panini sandwich or half grilled cheese, any kind of combination okay. you can come up with. Delicious, delicious. So, and I will mention guys, y'all know I'm vegan. You've known that since I started Cassie, the food guru. Fadi did tell me that might be in the works. Fadi, let me know. Will there be vegan chili soon? Uh, yes, we, we will have a vegan chili. Still working, getting our feet wet here. And once right. we get settled, we may add right. it to the menu. Yeah. He's like, I'm not going to just do what Cassie wants me to do. <laughs> <laughs> you call it Cassie? No, I'm just kidding. But yes, yeah, so vegan chili is on its way, but they do have vegetarian. So yeah, we're good yeah. with that, which is awesome. 
So I do want to wrap things up because you got these customers coming in. We got peoples everywhere. It's on and popping over here. So I do want to mention y'all are hiring. Yeah, yeah, we're hiring um, for the store and for the truck, okay. um, especially come spring and summer. Um, and, and yeah, so if you're interested and you have any experience or if you don't, feel free to stop in and uh, get an application in. Now, do, would they go on your website or like kind of just they, stop they can, in? Or? They can stop in, they can email us, there's a contact us tab okay. on the website and okay. just show any interest, they can shoot an email. Cool. Um, and, and yeah, we can just go from there. Awesome. Now, the Chili Hut guys, it's tucked um, right by, what is that laundry mat called? The yeah, Tiger? The Tiger Express. The Tiger Express, so it's right there, it's right by LCNB Bank, across the street from uh, Queen City Motors. Mm -hmm. It's tucked right here, you'll see it. Please stop by, guys, because this is something different mm -hmm. in Loveland, right? We don't have chili. We have Italian, right? We have bar food. Chili, it's not here yet. No. So no. you got it first. Congratulations. So. Thank you. Yeah. Awesome. So last final question. I just want to know because I ask everybody this mm -hmm. because we are Loveland Magazine. Sure. I don't know if you know, but why do you love Loveland? Oh, it's great. Um, I like the, the small community. Everybody knows each other. Everybody's been nice popping into the store, introducing themselves. So I'm excited to get started here. Heck yeah, heck yeah. And you heard it right here. We got Foddy, come visit him, bring the kids. Come get chili for the Super Bowl, right? That's true, you can come on Saturday and, and, and just get it ready for on Sunday. Right, what's better than that, you know? And mm -hmm. plus, love's in the air. So chili, love, <laughs> yeah. hearts of fire, we're all over the place, yep. right? Well, Foddy, thank you so much. Thank I appreciate you. it. I know you're busy, so I'm gonna thank let you, you get back to work. But um, guys, come visit the Chili Hut or Foddy's gonna come track you down with his food truck, okay? <laughs> All right, guys, we'll see you next time. Yeah, we are.